I, I, I wouldn't be surprised three to five years net from now, every NFL player has their own NFT collection and um, every professional athlete has their own NFT collection for sports cards because it's, it's such a cool and innovative way to connect with fans. BidSwap is the hottest new way to trade tokens. Crawling all the top decentralized exchanges, BidSwap gets you the very best price and value for your trades. BitSwap is changing the game. Try it now at bitswapdex.io. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, the largest crypto channel in all the interwebs. My name is Ben. Every day on this channel, I show you how to make money in cryptocurrency. If you like money in crypto, make sure to subscribe to the channel for your chance to win a full Bitcoin. Details down below. Today, I sat down with Los Angeles Ram safety Taylor Rapp. He's becoming only the third NFL player to release his own NFT collection. Part of the sale will be going to benefit the AAPI fund to assist in helping Asian Americans. Now, we'll be debuting the art for his NFTs here, but also we'll be discussing why Ethereum is the coin you guys should be watching. While many people are ready to give up on Ethereum within the crypto community, Taylor gives us some reasons why the mainstream is ready to jump back on the ETH train. So let's go ahead and check out what he had to say. It's a very interesting interview. Hey, everybody. I'm super excited to be uh, wearing my Falcons hoodie while uh, bringing on uh, an NFL player, Taylor Rapp, from the Rams. So the Falcons did beat them in the playoffs a few years ago. I just <laughs> to say that, okay? But, uh, you know, he's actually from Atlanta, so which is pretty cool. We're very glad to have you on uh, to talk some crypto and NFTs today. Yeah, thanks for having me on, Ben. I'm a huge fan of the channel. Watch your, watch your guys' videos and uh, channel all the time. Yeah, awesome. Well, let's, let's get into what people want to know here about uh, in, in an NFL player in cryptocurrency, what are you seeing from other athletes in the NFL or even maybe from other sports, maybe people you went to college with about the interest from the professional athlete into cryptocurrency? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely a new and upcoming thing. I, I, don't, I don't think cryptocurrency is necessarily a, a big topic in the NFL locker room just because, um, you know, I, 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 I don't think more than – you know, I, I, I talked to uh, Aaron and um, Austin Arnold about this, but like, I think not more than 10% of like NFL locker room knows more than like surface level deep than cryptocurrency. Yeah. Now with this NFT craze, where I think the NFL locker room, like I think it will increase interest in cryptocurrency because uh, NFL, the locker room and players will actually have interest in releasing their own collections and doing that stuff. But cryptocurrency, just cryptocurrency investing into coins right now, I don't think many players around the league um, are, are, are very into it right now. Yeah. Now, what about, uh, are you familiar with uh, Russell Okung's uh, contract. Yeah, I, I was just going to bring that up yeah. uh, uh, about how Russell Kuhn, uh, you know, he wants, wants his uh, salary to be in, into Bitcoin and um, how, how much his salary and how much more money he's made because of Bitcoin appreciating. Yeah. It's uh it's, it's an insane story. I was talking to Austin and uh, Aaron about it yesterday too. And um, you know, that's some, I, I told, I told them I was going to call my agent up and, uh, you know, ask, ask for my second contract to be it, it paid out in Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be good, man. Especially, uh, especially by the time you get the next contract, when would that be like two years from now? Yeah. Yeah. Two yeah. years. We'll be right in the middle of a bear market. It'll be perfect time to do it. You will probably. Exactly. Far exceed. Exactly. Yeah, that's perfect. I think that's really good. I think when that was announced that he was doing that, a lot of people were very intrigued by it. And, you know, what's interesting is, uh, you know, I go and uh, I don't use Facebook a lot. I actually like just have family on there, but I go in there sometimes and, you know, they're always trying to feed you all kinds of stories based on, you know, all, all your data that they steal. And, uh, right. you know, they, I saw the sports center story about Russell Okun's contract. And when I read the comments and the comments were so negative about it, they're all like, well, he didn't actually get paid in Bitcoin. You know, is it, he, you know, managed to get half of his salary put into Bitcoin. And it was just so funny, like watching all these people squirm to see that somebody's done so well for themselves uh, by believing in cryptocurrency. And I, I think that really backs up what, you know, what you said in terms of, you know, the average NFL player still is not interested. I will tell you this. I will tell you, I've had some interesting conversations with some agents uh, and some people in the orbits of, I'll just call them uh, tier one NBA players. And a lot of them are very interested in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, 
but they don't even know how to like the amount that these people would want. You're talking about guys that have, you know, nine figures worth of, of, uh, you know, cash to spend. These guys don't, don't even know the OTC market where you actually can make big purchases. And so I think we're going to see a lot more, you know, I, I've always said like if LeBron would, that's not the person, by the way, pretty close. But uh, if LeBron were to go and buy a bunch of Bitcoin, like it would be amazing how many people I think would, you know, professional athletes would line up after that. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, if if, if LeBron would, would announce or it, it got public that he was in a cryptocurrency and he, he bought Bitcoin, like I think that would be huge yeah. for, uh, you know, Bitcoin for the cryptocurrency market and for for other athletes to to get involved as well. I I, I definitely think so. But I, I just think the Russell Akun uh, story and uh, you know what he did is, is so unique and so cool. And uh, you know it just goes to show like you know cryptocurrency is here to stay. Bitcoin's here to stay. And you know we we see all these these big names backing Bitcoin and these big. Uh, you know, corporations and um, institutions, you know, Elon Musk with Tesla and, um, you know, it, all, all these big names uh, back in Bitcoin. So, you know, it's, it's definitely interesting. Um, and, uh, you know, now we have the NFT world and um, yeah. I really think the NFT world is here to stay too. And it's the future of um, a, a future for trading cards. Um, I, I don't know if you're big into like actual the sports, sports trading cards, like the physical, but yeah. like, I really think this this could like take over the the sports trading cards industry, and I, I I wouldn't be surprised three to five years now from now every NFL player has their own NFT collection, and um, every professional athlete has their own NFT collection for sports cards because it's it's such a cool and innovative way to connect with fans. But like, but but then like you know we have are my my parents and the boomers the older yeah. generation who want a physical tangible asset and like card that they can touch and feel and see in person so um you know it's it's it's, it's interesting to think about but it's like it's it's so cool you know to yeah. think about at the same time well the newer generation doesn't care about things they can touch really <laughs> you know no. that is definitely older no. generation and um, you know, I see that a lot with, uh, you know, my kids in Fortnite. I talk about it a lot, you know, they love the Fortnite skins and yeah. they would rather spend money on that than anything else. <laughs> um, you know, but, and I actually, you know, I'm, I'm not huge into sports cards right now. I did, I used to have a lot of baseball cards. Uh, yeah. My dad actually just told me he found them in the attic. So I'm going to get those. Uh, pretty, oh, there we go. Which is pretty cool. We're actually, we're also kind of working with tops on some stuff here on the channel. So we'll be having some tops uh, you know, uh, NFTs coming out, but you know, I actually was in, uh, for about a year and a half, I did, uh, sign football helmets. Uh, we would, oh, you know, okay. yeah, we do them on Facebook. I mean, we had Brady and Manning and you, I mean, you know, we had all the guys, all the cool helmets too, you know, like the hydro dipped ones and the, the speed flexes and all that stuff. So I learned a yeah. lot about the sports memorabilia market and it is extremely interesting. I think that, you know, where right now, you're limited on how many football helmets you can put in your house. You know, like if you have a really nice man cave set up, uh, actually, like I found out one of my, uh, a guy that lived in the neighborhood that I'm about to move into uh, was uh, Tavon Austin, who actually played for the Rams. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So um, I, I saw actually in a house that I was looking at in this neighborhood, they had pictures. Of, I guess it was when he sold it. Uh, and it was on like Zillow or something. I saw his Tavon Austin jersey in there and I found out that he he, he lived there at one point. But the, the point is, is I was looking at his man cave and he had like some really nice jerseys on the wall. He had some cool, uh, you know, football helmets. I was like, you can only have so many football helmets, you know, right. but with NFTs, you can have pretty much an unlimited amount. And yeah. I think that's that's one cool thing about this is that, you know, they're going to be scarce and they're going to be limited, but you're going to be able to hold a lot more in like a digital, you know, kind of NFT wallet kind of thing. So um, now let's get into real quick. We want to get into your NFTs. We got some really interesting stuff coming on uh, with that here in a few minutes. Uh, some of which involves charity, which I think is pretty cool. We'll talk about, but I want to get your thoughts on this. I, I know I saw you on altcoin daily. We're, we're fans of altcoin daily. We love them. They're great dudes. Um, and I saw you talking about uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and yeah. I'm particularly interested to hear your thoughts as someone who's kind of newer to cryptocurrency, get involved in all of it. Uh, you know, what what are your thoughts on the prospects of, of Ethereum when it comes to, you know, not just investing, but NFTs as well? Yeah, no, I, I mean, I think, uh, you know, like I, I talked to on Alcoin Daily yesterday and like 
the two coins that are like mainly comprising my portfolio and even their portfolios were both Bitcoin and Ethereum. And Ethereum, I think, is very, very interesting and, and, and very on the up, upcoming because now with this NFT craze and sites uh, specifically like OpenSea, which I'm holding my uh, NFT collection on, exclusively need the uh, Ethereum wallet and Ethereum currency to use and buy NFTs. Yeah. And so I think it's, it's huge for Ethereum, this, this whole new NFT craze and, um, you know, this whole new marketplace. And I really think the NFTs are here to stay and they will take over um, sports trading cards and they'll become the new digital assets and stuff like that. So um, on, on, on that side, like it's huge for Ethereum and I'm a big believer in Ethereum as well. Like I, I, I am going to keep like out of the sales. So part of the, part of the sales will go to a charity, obviously to the AAPI community. We'll talk about that more yep. in detail, but I will get Ethereum from the sales yep. and I am You're excited both- about that. I'm very, very excited yeah. about that. Like as, as the currency to, to get paid out in, in yeah. Ethereum. So I, I love that. And I wouldn't be surprised if I just leave it all in Ethereum the, from yeah. the, from the sales that I don't, don't end up donating to the fund. Yeah. I'll say this uh, is a person who almost exclusively gets paid in cryptocurrency. It works out very well. <laughs> you know, it works out very there we well. Go. There For we sure. go. Yeah, I mean, we we have, I mean, we showed our portfolio last week. We've got a, a, a really nice portfolio. Number one and number two coin, Bitcoin and Ethereum. And that's something yeah. you definitely see across the board for most people in this business. Uh, but I can tell you, you know, when we were doing, you know, whether it was sponsored reviews or doing different stuff, you know, in the past when the price of Ethereum was $200, and we were getting a lot of Ethereum, you know, at the time uh, that may not have equated to a lot of a lot of dollars. Now yeah. you look at all those two hundred dollar Ethereum that we had that are all now worth eighteen hundred dollars, and yeah, it's just like mind blowing. And you know, we did kind of the same thing with Russell Okung. I mean, when he did that thing with half of his contract, it was like, you know, wow, it's a some decent amount of Bitcoin. But now the Bitcoin's gone up to sixty thousand dollars. It's like, wow, okay, now he's really doing well. So one, one, I think they said he's. Uh, like one of the ho- number four highest paid player yeah. in the league, if you equate what he had in Bitcoin. So very interesting stuff. And so I think what people should be taking away from this in terms of if you're looking at Bitcoin and Ethereum is that, you know, Ethereum is working right now. A lot of these other chains that we're looking at with NFTs, like they're not in their full form yet. So right now the NFT craze at its peak, you know, hopefully not its very peak, but as it is definitely on the upswing, you know, Ethereum is going to get a lot of benefits from that. So let's go ahead at this point and let's jump into talking about uh, your NFTs. I'm going to share my screen here so everybody can uh, can see it. All right, guys. So first and foremost, I do want to say like I, I'm pulling up Taylor's uh, Twitter right here and, and it's lacking. You guys got to go follow him. Oh my gosh, he's followed by Altcoin Daily. I got to do what they do, so I'm going to follow him right here. There we go. There sense. we go. There, there will be there will be live updates of the NFT collection on uh, on Twitter. So I'll I'll yeah. pick up back my uh, back on my Twitter and, and start tweeting again this this week. Now I think I think we can at least get him over ten thousand followers here on Twitter. I mean at least. Come on, guys, we got to do that. So all right, let's check it out. This is the page. This is the page right here on OpenSea for your collection. So if you want to kind of talk about what we have here, and then we'll go through and looking at uh, some of the pieces. I, I think before we actually look into the pieces, I think it'd be good, you know, to also go over the charitable, uh, you know, thing for the Asian American Fund and things like that. Of course, of course. So the main reason why I actually wanted to create my own NFT collection, not only is it because it's, you know, this this new market that I want to get into in a cool and innovative way to connect with fans, but I think we've all seen the disturbing news and videos of surrounding the AAPI community and Asian American community here in the States. But I think we've seen all these videos of like the most helpless, vulnerable, innocent, old woman, grandpas, grandmas, that's, you know, it could be my grandma and grandpa getting viciously attacked. And we've seen this, all these hate crimes come to light in these past month or so. So I, I, I wanted to do, I wanted to, because obviously I'm Asian American, I'm Chinese and, you know, that's my community. And I wanted to be able to do something to help out my community as it means very important to me. And I hold clear, dear to my heart. So partly why I wanted to create this 
election was to help out the AAPI community during during all of this. And so I actually wanted to create this collection and donate a portion of the of the sales directly to the AAPI community fund GoFundMe so it can help out, you know, my community and my my people, and my heritage that that mean a lot to me. So uh, here's the collection. So the collection is called uh, Taylor Rapp Year of the Ox Collection. Um, and so it's the year of the ox, 2021, Chinese New Year. I was born in the year of the ox. So I'm, I'm an ox as a Chinese zodiac. And so the whole collection is basically Chinese themed and uh, year of the ox themed. There will be six different NFT editions, um, 90 total in supply. So super, super exclusive wow. for everyone. I think Gronk and Mahomes, they had like 400 or so. So mine only has 90 total in circulating Ooh, okay. supply. So super exclusive, super rare. There's uh, there will be a one of one, which uh, you know all all the names of the six different editions are all special Chinese ox proverbs that me and my my mom came up with, and so they all mean very very dear to me, and they all have special special meaning behind it. Not only the the cause, but it all kind of ties in together with my story. And obviously the, the, this year being the, the year of the ox and being a special year for me. And so the first one, uh, the one of one, we'll pull up the graphic in the upper right hand corner. It's actually a tattoo that my grandpa hand painted. It's, uh, it's a Chinese year, year of the ox uh, painting that he did with the Chinese proverb, change the world, change the world is the Chinese ox proverb. And it's the name of the actual one of one piece. And then the, the big Chinese ox, uh, character as well. I actually, I don't know if you guys can see here on the screen, but I've got it tattooed, uh, on my shoulder here. My grandpa actually hand painted it. Like, like we said. Um, and so, it's very, spe very special piece. That would be the one of one piece. It has huge, huge significance to me and, uh, you know, my, my story and, and, and all that. So, um, and, and even too, just, just to entice uh, uh, viewers even more and investors even more and buyers. So the one of one will be attached with a meet and greet with me, um, free tickets for two, to a game next season it would come pre-game sideline passes a signed jersey signed game worn gloves signed game worn cleats and a signed football that will all be attached to the winner of the auction for this one of one um and then there will be so there's there's other uh additions so there'll be an addition with with seven additions There'll be an NFT with 10 editions, and then there'll be three more different NFTs with 24 editions of each. We took like two different styles and some of them look like sports trading cards and, and some of them look like more portrait painting style. And so we, we kind of wanted to give, um, oh, there's the, there's the tattoo. Is that, is that, the, yep, yeah, yep, that's the awesome. tattoo. That's, that's the portrait style. And each NFT will have the Chinese ox character, uh, like the one in the upper right hand corner right here that my, that my grandpa actually hand painted as well. And so each one has, uh, you know, the Chinese ox character. It's all has, has great meaning. The collection will go live on Thursday uh, at 6 PM uh, Pacific standard time. Um, and then it will end on uh, April or uh, Sunday, April uh, 4th at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So it will all be um, English auction style. So it will all go live at Thursday um, at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, super, super exclusive. Only 90 going to be in supply. And, uh, you know, partly why it's, uh, you know, so, so cool, um, because I, I think of NFTs as basically you're buying a stock into Taylor Rapp, right, Ben? Like, yeah. if yeah. you buy an NFT, if you buy a Taylor Rapp NFT and say, I go out and I ball out this next year. You get, you, you, you get, you get your second defensive touchdown. Exactly. Say I get another pick six. I looked, this, I looked up the stats, okay? Yeah. Say I go, <laughs> I go, I go make a pro bowl or, yeah. you know, I, we go to the super bowl and the great, the super bowl great at SoFi stadium. Yeah. The Taylor rap NFT, it's only going to appreciate 
Yeah. And 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 so I think of it, I think of this whole NFT thing. It's so cool to wrap your head around. It's like buying a stock in Taylor Rap. Yeah. And like it's only going to appreciate in these coming years as as my career grows, as my name grows, my name, my brand grows, my notoriety grows. And so it's so cool. You know? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And I, I think that uh, that's definitely a good way to look at it. I mean, it's kind of like buying rookie cards, you know, for, you know, uh, players in the NFL or players in the major leagues. And then, you know, I mean, what are the most valuable cards out there? They're, they're rookie cards because it was yeah. early in their career. And so I think that, uh, yeah, I think this is good. And, you know, another thing is you did say that Patrick Mahomes has launched some. And yeah. I just want to give you an idea for a new NFT. That's all. Uh, will you listen? Is it cool? Can I give you an idea? Of course. Okay. It's a Taylor Rapp versus patrick mahomes hair showdown who wins there we go who there wins? we go there we go you got nice well, hair taylor i gotta tell yeah, you no no look i i've been growing my hair ever since you know yeah. I, even, I even got like the the blonde like surfer bum kind of style yeah. well you're in la you know yeah in la like but un unfortunately i i think i'm actually this upcoming year i'm back to business back to the buzz cut yeah. back to back to short hair like you ben yeah, you got to do it, man. It gets real hot in that helmet. I know because I used to play professional football, you know. I mean, well, <laughs> on, on, on Madden. You think you could take me in Madden? That's a question I have for you. Honestly, I don't know. I don't think so. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not so good at Madden. And I, I, know, I know you must be pretty damn good at Madden. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. I actually, I, that's, uh, that's my oldest son's name. We might have, to, we might have, to, get we might have to get that. that. We might have to get that Rams-Atlanta uh, showdown on Madden here. Yeah, well, we're coming to SoFi next year. Uh, we're yeah. on we're on your schedule out there, and I, I do plan on coming out. I had some people offer me some tickets. There you uh, go. I, can, I, I got you tickets. Boom. I'll get Here you we tickets. go. Let's get yeah, that set I, up, man. I got you tickets. Don't worry, man. I got you. Awesome, man. And that's that's SoFi is also a crypto friendly company. So it just everything's lining up here for uh, me to come out there. And I will tell you, whenever I go watch the Falcons play anywhere, we get beat. So um, <laughs> you'll, you guys will definitely have the leg up there. But Taylor, this, this has been a great interview. Uh, you're definitely an awesome dude. And uh, I know, you know, one thing for sure, I'm definitely going to have a vested interest in, in watching you through the next few years and seeing how you develop as a player and uh, wish the Rams good luck. You guys got a new quarterback. Uh, not that the old one was bad. We like the old guy too. Jared Goff, he's, he's good. Uh, fan of his. But, uh, you know, excited to see what you guys can do this year and excited to see what is going to happen with uh, this NFT launch. I mean, it's innovative. I mean, you look at Gronk, you look at Patrick Mahomes, they're obviously on the front edge of everything you know Gronk was on Gronk was on uh, Mass Singer and then you know Patrick Mahomes he's got his hair commercials with Troy Polamalu and stuff like that so you're right there with them and putting this out and I, I hope it's going to be good I, I love the idea of you know donating part of it to charity so really excited so you guys make sure to go check them out you can find it on OpenSea uh, we will uh, have the link down below in the description you guys go follow Taylor on Twitter anything else you want to leave us with Taylor uh, no, I mean, just uh, basically all the launch will go live on Thursday, like I said, at uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time going through the Eastern week, the Easter weekend. Um, so hopefully people aren't too busy with, e you know, celebrating Easter and Good Friday and stuff. And well, you know, well that, we call it we call it we call it Easter. There we go. There we go. That's <laughs> there we go. So make sure everyone is all 90 pieces are going to yeah. be super, super exclusive. Um you know, hopefully we can make this as big as it is, as, as it can get and hopefully make it as uh, successful as it can get because, uh, you know, it's, it's a great cause and I, you know, I want to make it as big as possible so I can help out my community as much as possible as well. So make sure you guys are tuned in um, this weekend from Thursday at 6 PM until Sunday night. Um, go, go and buy a Taylor Rapp stock. I promise it will appreciate. Yeah. And hopefully if you sell them all, we can say that's a wrap. There we go. Exactly. <laughs> well, I can tell you, I'm, 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 I'm very excited about this. I, I'm going to put a bit on, I'm going to put a bit on one myself. So I'd like to grab, I'd like to grab one. So, all right, Taylor. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's been great. And to the audience out there, you guys make sure to go check it out. Drop us some comments down below and let us know what you think about NFTs. And if you're going to go grab one of these, that's all I got. Be blessed.